I feel like it's pointing more towards me. Hold on. Okay, I think it's centered. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, friends, and welcome to the Average J. Today is Tuesday, and it is time for Tuesday Tag. So today's questions come to us from the computer world. The actual host of it is Roy from Recipes with Roy. Thank you, Roy, for putting these together. But they are AI-generated questions. Okay. We're getting into the whole... You see AI on the news like... I think Terminator. All the time. I know. You know, <laughs> Skynet. Do, 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 do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I hope the questions didn't come from Skynet. No, I hope not either. No, but that would be thank, bad. <laughs> thank you, Roy, for putting these together. And um, uh, everybody who's doing the tag will be listed down below. Michelle and I are a little late. Roy had these questions out to us so long ago. And yeah. with everything that's been going on, trying to, you know, with the chickens and the garden, the raised garden beds. Well, my dad did most of that, but I mean, I, I helped a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Work's been busy. I had drill. You've been working and mm -hmm. taking care of a lot of things. So um, today is actually Tuesday, uh, the day that they're due out. And that's why this is getting posted a little late. But why don't we just get into the questions? All right. All right. So you get to, <laughs> Michelle has the paper, so she gets to answer the questions. All right. Well, you have to, you have to ask it. You ask the question. Oh. <laughs> so right off the bat, <laughs> the first question, I don't think I can answer. But the first one is, if you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life, which song would it would you choose and why? Okay. I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> so me, I, I mean, it, it's a, this is a tough question. It and is. And it was funny because <laughs> when Michelle and I discussed this just a few minutes ago, she guessed one of the two mm -hmm. that I would say. So number one is King of Love by the group I Am They. The King of Love. Um, it's a beautiful song. We sang it in church one day and loved it. And we asked um, Tia, mm -hmm. you know, about where could we find a good version of it. She told us about I Am They. So the song King of Love by I Am They. I could listen to that every day. I almost do listen to it every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I could listen to that for the rest of my life. But the other song, this goes way back. I was working down in Atlantic City um, at a radio station at the time. Um, I didn't work for a station that would play this music, but I used to listen to it on the commute. And it's Something Good by Utah Saints. Um, most people probably don't know that song from Utah Saints. They probably think of the movie Mortal Kombat. Utah oh Saints did the yeah. Mortal Kombat theme. Yep. You know, so that might be a one one song that somebody knows from the group Utah Saints. But their song, Something Good, I could listen to that. I, I still listen to it. it. I did it today. <laughs> I listened to it today. Yep. So that those are the two songs very difficult to pick but if i had to pick only one i'm going to say king of love okay so you heard my answer i i can't <clears throat> i cannot pick one song <clears throat> there are so many songs that bring back memories throughout your life you know yes. this particular you know and i just i can't pick one <laughs> okay well your playlist in all fairness your amazon music playlist has so many songs over 300 yeah. for one particular playlist for one playlist that's yeah. like your walking playlist and yeah. i just i don't have that big a repertoire and <laughs> and the irony is one of the other songs i liked and we were laughing at it's one of my favorite songs and one of michelle's least uh, liked songs yeah you should have asked what's your worst song she could answer that in a one. second go ahead what is it 
Oh, the 99 balloon, Luft balloons, Luft Red balloons. Red balloons. Well, Luft balloons right. or something. I don't know. <laughs> Michelle hates that song. No, I do not. But like I it. love that song. It's probably in my top five, you know, so. All right. Ask yes, number two. What is something you recently learned or discovered that surprised you? Right, you go first. Me first. <clears throat> okay. So, um, so recently we have a task at our church that we are reading the Bible every day and it's chronologically. So I have never picked up the Bible. It's been sitting on a bookshelf my whole life collecting dust, but this year it's not. And, um, there's just a lot of things in the Bible that I did not know. And like, for instance, one example is um, you've seen the Ten Commandments every Easter, but I did not know that Moses couldn't go into the promised land with the rest of the Israelites. I mean, that was surprising to me. Because he struck the stone. Yeah. He was not supposed to. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Um for me, recently discovered that surprised you that there's no Santa Claus. Oh, there's kids what? who watch this. No children watch this. <laughs> Maybe. If there are kids watching, I was just kidding about that. <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, really, I, I can't say anything recently. I learned. I mean, you always hear people say, "I was today years old right. when I learned this," meaning yeah. they just learned some it. Hat. Yeah, you know, some hacks and everything. Hacks. So, um, I mean, I guess something recently that I learned um, is that I think it's the, I always used to think that a king cobra was the most poisonous snake in the world, but I watch Chandler's Wildlife you do, all the time. I watch Chandler's <laughs> Wildlife every time he puts out a video. And apparently, the most venomous snake, drop for drop, is not a king cobra. No? It's an inland taipan, and it's only like, this big. I mean, it's it's not a very big snake, but the the venom is just like so potent. I always thought the king cobra. I thought it was, was called the king. <laughs> yeah, I always thought it was called king cobra because it was the most venomous, but apparently not. Apparently not. So I just <laughs> learned that. Okay. All right. Number three. Number three. If you could have any non-human ability, what would it be and why? All right. So I kind of feel bad because Michelle and I are going to have the exact same answer on this. So <gasps> yeah, you didn't I know. tell me. <laughs> no, I know I didn't, but, um, well, you can say it. Okay. So uh, most people I would think would be to fly. Yeah. I think a lot of people would want to do that. But... And I'm assuming when it says any non-human ability, meaning an animal ability, yeah. not, not like a superpower, yeah. like or oh, not can, alien <laughs> or not alien. Like it would have to be something that somebody or, so, or that something can do, Okay, you know? So like, it wouldn't be like, turn invisible or read minds. So I'm assuming non-human means an ability that maybe some living creature has. That's, okay. But ours is that, so. So I, I am a little bit of, uh, scared, scared. Of, of heights. So I'm going to go with uh, swim underwater. Yep. So if I could swim underwater <sighs> and see everything, shipwrecks and fish and reefs and yeah. coral reefs and stuff. So, and everybody yeah. always used to say that Aquaman was like the weirdest character yeah. in DC, like, you know, Superman, Batman, <laughs> Aquaman. I no. like Jason but I, Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just think that breathing underwater or to be able to go underwater, I mean, because like I've snorkeled before mm -hmm. and it would be so neat to see all that without having to keep your head up at the thing with the snorkel out yeah. and scuba diving, you got to wear all that gear and you're taking a chance on it. Like, what if it runs out of air? I don't know. I don't know. So. But what correlates with this is my biggest fear, fear. I, is is drowning. Yeah. I that's one of my biggest fears. <laughs> so I don't fear drowning. No. No. Nah. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Go ahead. Number four. Do you have a any unique or interesting talents? Okay. I, I would say, no, I'm about the boringest person ever. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, the only things I think I can do, watch, I wouldn't even be able to do them now. I'll mess it up, but it's like make a drip of water. Come here. You know That's where good. you go. There we go. I did that. <laughs> you did make good. it sound like a cricket. That is so cool. <laughs> or, or, or. <laughs> 
<laughs> now I won't be able to do no. it. No, <laughs> you're put on the spot. That's a good whistle. All right, so <laughs> that's it. You know, as a kid, you know, you do funny things, but my, I guess mine would be. I know it's so weird. I don't have any special ones. So here's the church. Here's the steeple. You open the doors, and there's the people. <laughs> there's Michelle's there's big my talent. talent. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's great. All right, so Michelle says the finger church. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, number five. What is the one thing you've always wanted to learn or try but haven't had a chance yet? Okay, so one, I just started last month. I mean, I'll say yeah. it says doesn't have a chance yet, but I did just start. Yep. I always wanted to learn how to play a bass. You know, I want to be a like whenever you see, you know, I didn't want to play like lead guitar. The bass is what really interested me. And I've wanted that for years. You know that. Of course I did. So <laughs> I finally bit the bullet. I got myself a bass and I started taking lessons a month ago. All right. So that was mine. I have here to sing better. I've definitely tried singing. I've been in chorus, you know, in middle school and we, we sing every Sunday. But I, I love to sing but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so maybe if I got like lessons, like try to learn maybe yeah. some harmonies and stuff. So yeah, sing better. Sing better. <laughs> and then you can sing all of your songs on your playlist, all, yes. three, all 300. <laughs> okay, go ahead, number six. Okay, what is one random fact about yourself that most people don't know? Oh, you can go first. All right, so, um, I'm, I'm sure we've mentioned it before, but you are in the Air Force. You have been for, I don't even know how many years. 23. And I've been the um, proverbial spouse. <laughs> military, military spouse. spouse. <laughs> and, um, you know, a lot of times you hear the military brats or families that move around a lot. Well, I have never left New Jersey. To live. <laughs> to live. Yeah. I've always Vacation. lived in New Jersey. So, you know, he's been deployed to several places and I stayed behind in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Um, for me, I don't think a lot of people know this. I mean, family might know it, but so when I was in college, you know, you always try to make a buck here or there. I actually was a... <laughs> performing clown at children's birthday parties. <laughs> you know, I did a whole magic show. I had all the, I had doves. I had oh my gosh. all the equipment I used to get from Philadelphia Magic Company right okay. in Philadelphia. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I was actually pretty good at it. So me and a friend of mine, Dave, we would do children's birthday parties, you know? You've done and, balloon animals for oh, me. Oh, I've done balloon <laughs> animals for me. I was actually pretty good at the balloon animals, you know, <laughs> I got to say. So I would do, you know, uh, like a half hour magic show. And then I would stay and do all the balloon animals for the okay. kids and everything. But I will insert a picture of me in my costume from them right here. And I know I look silly, but it paid the bills. <laughs> so. All right. All right. Number seven. If you had to describe your personality as a type of food, what would it be and why? That's easy for me. Okay. I'm meatloaf. Um, it's the all American meal. I'm just the American guy <laughs> that, you know what? Mm -hmm. It's not anybody's favorite, but most people will eat it. So, yeah. you know, my person is the same. I don't, there's, you know, not people are like, Oh, Jay's my favorite. You know, well for you, I would hope. <laughs> of you know, course so. it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I have friends and coworkers and I get along with people, but you know, I'm not the standout or anything, mm -hmm. but I get along enough that you know, there's no, but I don't think there's many people that hate me, you know? No. So but, I don't hate meatloaf. I love meatloaf. Oh, you're so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> so I'm meatloaf. Okay. So I'm going to go with chicken. So chicken, <laughs> chicken is, like I said, I don't have met very many talents or, you know, I'm <laughs> kind of boring. Chicken can be boring, but you can spice it up and zhuzh it up and you know one day i'm chicken pot pie and one day i'm chicken fajitas with lots of spice in it you know chicken can be fun but chicken can be cheap easy boiled <laughs> yes, chicken you know so i'm gonna go with chicken i thought you were like gonna the like the chicken i thought you were gonna say uh because you're italian heritage you're a chicken of parmesan well, See, and that could, that's why there I said is okay, chicken cool. is very versatile. <laughs> All right. Number eight. eight. What is your favorite way to spend a lazy day? 
Okay. <laughs> so I got to go back five years in order for my Except favorite for way. Except last lazy day. N well, that's five not, years ago. no, it's not the last time I had a lazy day, but um, that was the last time that my fireplace I could light up wow. because my fireplace has it. My favorite thing lazy during a lazy day is to have a roaring fire going. So obviously this would be like winter, fall. Yeah. You know, and um, have just a roaring fire with a movie on TV. Okay. But my fireplace needs thousands oh, of dollars a liner of work. that we just got trees taken down so yeah um, so but that's my favorite okay so mine's kind of similar but it is just curled up on the couch and watch tv a movie binge watch a show like great british baking show or, or the kids baking kids baking challenge, challenge. that was a good yeah. one yeah so but yeah it'd be sit and I, I know a lot of people, because now it's spring and summer, and we are outside, and I do love to be outside, but a lazy day is on the couch. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I like yep. a lazy day when it's actually raining outside that you can't yeah, go outside. That's true. We're in the winter snow. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Next one. Number nine. If you could choose any fictional place to visit for a day, where would you go, and what would you do? All right. You go first. Okay, well, this is going to coincide with the number three question. <laughs> so, I know how to swim underwater now. So, um, I'm going to spend my time um, at Atlantica. Atlantica okay. is the name of the city. So, it's the Little Mermaid. That's where she lived, you know, with her family. Yeah. So, or Atlantis, you know, you know like uh -huh. underwater fantasy type situation. But I had a second a runner up was Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> I could spend some time in Hogwarts and I would do lots of spells and, you know, that'd be fun. I, I don't even, I have <laughs> never watched any of those movies no, in their the entirety. Harry but the one thing I know from there is, <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where they like to lift something up. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Correct. It's the only thing I know from that one. So. Good job. Good job. Um, if I could go to a fictional place <laughs> for a day, I'm going to the Continental. Okay. From John Wick. The John Wick <laughs> movies, the Continental was the hotel that like all the, you know, underground people can go to and it's a safe haven, but like you always see them with fancy entertainment and, you know, uh, food and everything. Yeah. It just seemed like a cool place, you know? Oh, absolutely. So, but, but it only counts if I get the, you know, it's a fictional place. <laughs> if I go in and get to have lunch with John Wick. Oh, okay. So that, that would be <laughs> That'd be fun. All right. So number 10, what is something that people often misunderstand or misjudge about you? You go first. <laughs> Oof. Something that people misjudge or misunderstand about me. That's a hard one. You want me to go? Yeah, I got to think about that one. So a lot of times when I um, talk to people, um, you know, it's it's a back and forth. And a lot of times I think people, when they talk to me, I always have a story for your story. So if you tell me something, I'm like, oh, I know. This happened to me too, you know, and I hope it doesn't come across as... Um, one up like, smooshing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Trying to I'm, outdo. Yeah, outdo somebody. But it's like... Oh, yeah, I can relate. That's what I want to come across, but I think sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So, that, yeah. That's cool. I like that one. <laughs> um, people misunderstand or misjudge about me. I think people think I like material items more than I truly do, you know? Yeah. Like, if I get something, you know, I enjoy it, but I don't think it's, for me, it's not all about, you know, Oh, the computer or the Your drone. drone. Yeah, <laughs> the, new, the, drone. the newest toy. I, I mean, that's <laughs> not it. I would much rather, you know, spend time with family than items. I mean, yeah. I work a lot, you know, and, mm -hmm. and when I'm not working, I do do quite a bit like in my time. And I, I probably don't make the amount of time I need to for people. But I think that sometimes people think I would rather play with my toys than spend mm -hmm. time. And it's not that. It's just. I have a very 
finite amount of free time. Right, so, Jason time. Jason time. So <laughs> every now and then I, I want to, you know, play with the toys mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, but it's not that I am obsessed with them. No. But I think sometimes people mm -hmm. think that like, oh, you'd rather, you yeah. know. I don't know. I mean, we played Yahtzee last night. We invited Aunt Rena. <laughs> yeah, no, that was fun. We spent time that with her. That was fun. I enjoyed yeah. it. But I, th I think that's something that's kind of misunderstood about me, you know? Okay. Also, I think people think I'm more tech savvy than I am. I think oh, I'm I misunderstood. Think you, oh, I definitely think you're tech savvy. Well, but see, you, know, you say that, but I, I mean, I really have to think about what I'm doing. I'm not yeah. as tech savvy as some people think, mm -hmm. like, especially at work when people come to me for tech help and I'm like, you know, we have an IT department. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know this stuff, you know? I'm not as smart as they think, so. But that's it. Okay. So that's the 10 yeah. AI-generated questions. Uh, boy, I, they were tough. They were a little bit tough this, they were tough. <laughs> this the, month, I should the, say. Uh, Skynet got us. Yeah, they did. That's how Skynet beat people. It didn't launch the missiles. <laughs> it, it confused people with a bunch of questions. They were like, I don't know. I don't know. You're making me go back in my memory for so much. I know, right? <laughs> so, but that's going to do it. Again, thank you to Roy for uh, generating the AI questions. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please go visit all the other people in the uh, description below. Visit the links. And if you can, like, subscribe, give a big thumbs up. Have a great night. Bye.